So this quick video describing the various gestures you can use to uh, define where a text box is going to go on a page. Uh, now if you just single tap at the point where you want the text, that defines the top left corner of the text box. So that's what I've done there and I get a smallish text box that you can resize with the markers um, uh, and type into. Um, if you double tap away from on the empty page, away from any other kind of drawing objects like images or tables, then it fills the whole page with the text box. So there you can see, and then you can resize it again okay, if you need to. Um, but that's a quick way of doing a whole page text. Um, if you open the text settings and you turn on fixed size, then these two numbers, width and height, are going to be used. So every time you just single tap, you're going to get a text box of that dimension. So you see I single tapped, I've got a, a bigger text box because it's aligned with those numbers in the settings. Um, now I've got an image here. Um, if I double tap on that, there we go, um, then I'm going to get the text box aligned with the perimeter of that image. Um, and the same goes for a polygon, so if I put a polygon down, double tap on it, my double taps aren't very good, there we go, um, then it's going to align to the polygon. Uh, and the f next way is a table, which I've got here. Um, if I tap on one of the cells then the text box is going to be uh, aligned to the outline of that cell of the table um, and a new way which is on its way in the next update is to tap and hold and then drag and you can drag out um, the uh, text box and that'll work whichever corner you want it to. So I've gone top top right there, bottom left, or bottom right. 